This is a video about how to use Parent Square and Google Meet for parent conferences. So it's a three-step process. First, I'm going to establish my Google Meet link in Google Calendar. Then I'm going to update a parent blurb that I have that I'll be sending out in Parent Square. And finally, I'll be coming to Parent Square to schedule my appointments. So I have three tabs open. I have Parent Square open here. I have a Google Doc with my blurb that I'm going to send out. This is a pretty standard blurb. I got this from my building administrator. I'm going to tweak it just a little bit. And then I have Google Calendar open here. If you don't know how to get to Google Calendar, you just make a new tab in Chrome, come to the waffle up here in the upper right, select that, and one of your choices is Calendar. That's your Google Calendar. So let's go ahead and start here, and let's make my Google Meet link that I'm going to use for all of my conferences. So I can see here it's uh, set for November. Let's go ahead to December. I'm going to do my conferences between December 5th and 16th. So let's go ahead over here to the upper left where it says Create. Click on that, and the first menu item is Event. I click on that. You'll get a screen that looks like this. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is give it a name. So I'll just call it Parent Conferences. Okay, and then the date right here and time don't actually matter too much, but I may need to come back and refer to it. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm just going to make it December 16th. That's the last day I'll be conferencing, so that's fine. Um, any date actually works as long as you know how to come back to it. And then down here, I need to add the Google Meet to this event. So I go ahead and select that. And you can see right here, as soon as I do that, it gives me the Google Meet link that I'm going to use. Here it is. I'm going to use that with all of my conferences. But before I hit save in the lower right, I want to come to the gear here because I want to change one setting. So let's go ahead and click on that. You'll see a screen that looks like this. And then at the bottom here, where it says Quick Access, I want to turn that off. So Quick Access allows people to come into the Google Meet as soon as they click on the link. I don't want that. I want to be able to allow them in. I want more control. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And then the other settings here you can leave on. I would definitely leave host management on. Um, do you need to have parents share their screen? Do you need to use the chat? That's up to you. Okay, I'm going to turn mine off. I don't need that. I hit save. And then before I hit save in the lower right, let me copy the Google Meet information by coming to this icon right here. That means copy. That just copied all of this information right here. Hit save. And I can see in my calendar, I have established my Google Meet link. If I ever need to come back to it to recopy that link, I just click on it. And right here is the copy. See, here is the Meet link. And I, I can recopy it like so anytime I need to. Okay. All right, I'm done in Google Calendar. I have my Google Meet link. Let's go to my parent blurb. Okay, and right down here is where I need to paste that Google Meet information. So I'm going to select the placeholder, right click, and paste my information in. It's going to put a little too much information here. I'm going to clean this up. Like I really just need the Meet link, so I'm going to get rid of some of this extraneous information. I don't want to confuse my parents. That's really all I need to give them. Something like that. The Google Meet link is the important thing. If you don't like it highlighted, just go ahead and select it. Come up to the highlighter and you can click None. Okay, I'm going to leave mine highlighted because highlight that's pretty important. All right, so with my parent blurb, I read through it up here. I want the name of my principal because the principal sent out the initial post to parents. So this is referring to that post. At the bottom, you probably want your name. So I've read through this. I'm going to call it good. Let's move on to Parents Square. Okay, so now I'm going to set up my appointments. I need to click here where it says New Post, and I need to choose the menu item called Appointment Signups. Comes to a screen like this. First thing I need to do at the top is choose the dates I'm going to conference. Let's go ahead to December. I'm going to do mine on December 5th. I'm going to add another day. Let's say December 6th, and I'll add one more day. I'll do mine on three days. Okay. My start time, well, my duty period is at 1 p.m. So let's go ahead and put one. I'm going to do a lot of my conferencing during my duty period. And I'm going to, you know, I could do it all during my duty period, but let's suppose I want to do a few after school. 
So I'm going to leave my end time at 4 just in case I want to do some from 3 to 4 as well. Okay. Now, I, I want to recess in there because from 145 to 3, I'm teaching. I don't want appointments in there, so I'm going to click recess. And again, from 145 p.m., let's make sure it's all since that, chill. I'm going to change it to 3 o'clock. Let's suppose my day ends at 3 p.m. Okay, that's a recess. And then they'll pick up again from 3 to 4. Okay, we'll see what this looks like in a minute. How long am I doing them? I'm going to do mine for 10 minutes. Maybe yours are 5. Okay, I'm not going to have any breaks in between. I'm just going to stack them up one after another. When my next appointment shows up, I'll get a little warning on my screen. And at that point, I can dismiss the parent I'm talking to and move on to my next one. Okay, I'm going to hide the names of users who sign up so parents can't see other parents' names. They'll be able to see that time slots are taken. They just won't see names, and I'm going to limit it to one per person. I don't want one parent scheduling two appointments with me. Okay, so this looks good here. Let's click Next. Okay, and here are my time slots. Now, these are too many time slots, so I'm going to get rid of some of them. I don't need this many, so I'm, I, I really need 18. So 18 times 10 is 180 minutes or three hours. That's all I really need. So I'm going to go ahead and delete some. So on Tuesday, I'm not doing any after school. So I come over here to that little trash can icon and just start deleting the ones that you don't want. So I'm go going to go ahead and delete them so that I have 18 time slots available. Okay, so I've deleted a bunch of time slots I don't want to use. Let's assume for demonstration purposes, I have my 18 time slots all set here. Okay, I can go ahead and click on next in the upper right. Okay, and it's going to take me to the actual post that I'm going to send out on Parent Square. And if I scroll down, you can see here are the different time slots on the different days that parents are going to be able to sign up for. I can still um, edit at this point. I can remove different items and time slots and days, but I'm going to say this is good. And I need to decide who I'm sending this to. So when I click in here, it's going to give me a list of all of my classes. And you're going to choose the classes that you're sending it out to. For demonstration purposes, I made a group called Demo Group. Okay, I'm the only person actually in that group. I'm going to send it to that group. I'm going to send it to the parents. So let's assume I've chosen my different classes that I want to send to. Right, You can choose them by just clicking here. I'm sending to multiple classes. Okay. But let me back those off because I really don't want to do that right now. So I've got everyone I'm sending it to here or posting it to. Here is where I'm going to put that parent blurb. Okay, so they kind of give you a standard one. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to back, go back to my Google Doc here. And I'm going to copy this because this is what I want to send out. Right click, copy. So I selected it. I copied it. Right click, paste it in here. Okay, and I'm going to read this over. Everything looks good in here. Now, one more thing you can do. So the parents can actually select this, right? Copy it and paste it into the browser. But I can also turn this into an actual link that they could click on if I want. If you want to do that, right? Just go ahead and select the address. So I'm going to copy that. Come up here to that little plus sign. And this is the icon for making a hyperlink or a link. So if I click on that, right click and paste. Again, you don't have to do this. Okay, but now when parents get it, they can actually hover over this and click on it and it will take them into the meet. Okay, that's optional. All right, so let's suppose everything looks good in here. Um, I want to preview it first. This is probably a good idea to come over here where it says preview. Let's go ahead and click on that. This is what it will look like for parents when they get it. Okay, I can pre proofread everything here. I can see the sign up spots are available like so. Okay, a parent would just come over here, click on sign up to the spot they want. So now I'm going to come over here where it says post now, hit that drop down arrow. And I'm not going to post it right away. I'm actually going to schedule it. Okay, I want to schedule this to go out on November 28th at 9 a.m. 
Okay, so this way, if we do this, all the parents will get inundated, but they'll be inundated once during the day at 9 a.m. with all of our emails. And I hit schedule. I type OK here. And then schedule. So this post did not go out, but I can see up here that it will be published on Monday, November 28th at 9 a.m. Okay, now I'm in my email. I'm going to make believe I'm one of the parents because remember I was in that group that I sent it to. This is what the email will look like for the parents, right? There's the blurb. They can click sign up right here. It's going to take me to Parents Square. Okay, again, this is what parents will see, right? Now I'm in the parent view of Parents Square. And I'm going to choose a sign up. So I want to choose this one right here. That time works for me. I could put a note here to the teacher or not and then hit save. And now you can see right here it says close. So if I'm the first one in, I get first choice. The next parent in is going to see that I've already taken that spot. If I want to add, um, tell the teacher that a spouse is going to be joining me, I can click on this where it says add someone. Okay. Everything looks good here. It went out. The parents are signing up. Okay, so now I'm back in my teacher view again. So here's the post that I sent out. And um, let's suppose I want to send a reminder. Okay, this is option. This is an option. If I want to send a reminder to just those parents that signed up, I can do that by coming over to the gear right here on this post. Click on that. And then the item on the bottom is called items and signups and message volunteers. So if I choose this, so gear, items and signups, message volunteers, I'm not sure why they're called volunteers, but these are the people that are signed up. I could post a little reminder in here that your sign up is coming. I could put that Google Meet link back in there if I wanted to. I remember I can go to my calendar here, copy the information, go back to Parent Square right click paste okay and again i would clean this up i don't want parents necessarily seeing all that but i could send out a little message with the link again if i wanted to okay i'm not going to i'll cancel this uh, but i have that option but let's suppose people signed up let's see if i have any signups i come up here click on my post and scroll down just a little bit and here are my signups so i can see right here that a parent signed up from 1 to 110 on Monday, December 5th. And I can see all of the signups from this screen. Um, and now I, it's ready, I'm ready to go ahead and do my conferences. So on the morning or day of my conference, I come over to my Google Calendar, okay? And I come back to that link that I made before. And I go ahead and join with Google Meet. So I have to start the Google Meet before the parents come in. So I click on this. This should be a familiar screen to you. Okay, I go ahead and join now to start the meet, and then I wait for parents to join. Okay, and I can see right here, a parent must have clicked on the link. They're asking to come into the meet. So I would click on admit, and away we go. I would start my conference. When the next parent clicks on the link, I'll see a similar message. Uh, and then I'll need to dismiss my first parent and click on admit to ne let the next parent in. So remember, you just keep going back to that, that link that we established in Google Calendar. And you would use that same link over and over for your conferences. That is how you use ParentSquare and Google Meet for your parent conferences.